Hey, hello everyone, it's Mike1211 here, and welcome to Simutrons on Steam. That's right, about a year ago, a little bit less than a year ago actually, May 24th, 2016, Simutrons came out on Steam. I know, I didn't know about it. But today, I'm going to be talking about why I see this as a good thing and just, well, basically my reaction to it and everything like that. So first of all, um, you may have noticed there when I opened up the map that since uh, Simutrons has come to Steam, it upgraded to SDL 2. And in case you don't know what that means, which I'm sure a lot of you don't, it basically means that uh, the original Simutrons used SDL 1, which is... It was good at the time, cross-platform and stuff, but it didn't have any OpenGL 2D support automatically. With SDL 2, um, textures were introduced, and so OpenGL 2D support was created. And so now, that textures can be used, it has greatly increased the performance of the game. Also, it allows things like... Um, OBS and fraps and such to actually be able to hook into the game and the uh, 3D aspect of that, the frame buffers and such. So it makes that a lot better. Um, I went ahead and put some AI just to entertain us. Um, there was also in this uh, build, I guess you could say, an audio fix and actually I'm surprised to actually be able to hear the trucks and the sound. That wasn't working earlier. Anyways, it's a little bit buggy. It's kind of a fix, I put in quotes, because sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. It seemed to me that the audio sounds, such as the trucks and stuff, matched the audio sounds of the music. So I'm not really sure if it's completely fixed or if that's just what they did as a workaround. Because in case you didn't know, it used to be that every time a truck would, like, go, it would adjust the sound of your music down. And then when you clicked like this, it would go back up and adjust the sound of your music up. So it was a real pain. At least uh, for anything Windows 7 and... For anything Windows 7 and above, yeah. No, Windows Vista and above. Anything... Um, that was a real problem. But now they fixed it. So there's that. Um, let's see here, what else do we have? Let's come back to the city, watch some people walk around. So, um, the Steam Overlay actually works in safe mode, which is nice. I mean, this is getting into the Steam part of things. So those are the kind of two technical aspects. Um, Pack 128 comes with Simutron with, with the install as you can see here, but all the other packs are available on Steam. Well, I shouldn't say all. A vast majority of them. And um yeah. So the Steam overlay, uh, it works in safe mode, but I couldn't get it for me to work in the other mode. So there's that. Uh the workshop is actually something I want to touch on because it used to be so hard to find any like simutrons uh, what am I trying to say here any simutrons mods type things like add-ons and stuff like that well now you can go into the workshop and find scenarios and um, find scenarios what are the other things you can find oh you can find maps you can find tile sets so like pack 128 and stuff you can find add-ons to those and yeah some really good stuff like that um and you can also upload that stuff obviously so what this all means for me those are basically the big updates and things that is good about uh simutrons coming to steam Aside from the obvious that lots of people can see it if they want, but it's still, it has its complications. 
so then, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, in case you've never seen scenarios, there they are. You can load them up and they give you different missions type things. So yeah, obviously the um, performance has been vastly improved because my computer used to have some troubles doing this. Sorry if that's a bit dizzying. Um, but yes, it's not that. What, what, what button was I wanting to press? That one. Oh yeah, look at that forest. Okay. Let's go find... Is there a bus? Bus. So, what this means for me is um, if you guys or, yeah, basically anyone who finds this video or ends up subscribing to my channel or current subscribers and stuff like that, if you make um, scenarios or add-ons to the tile set or things, that means that I can get to them. And uh, I think that's really cool. Uh, I can get them to really easily just send me a link to the workshop page and I can get that. And so if uh, things like that start coming up, I'll start playing them, even if you guys don't mention them. Um, if they start just coming up on the Steam Workshop, I will, you know, do that because that's pretty cool. Um... See here the other things that I was wanting to talk about. Oh, I hit the buildings, didn't I? There we go. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I'm going to make a couple tutorials on how to use the Simutron's pack making tools. I'm not exactly sure how you make scenarios. I'll have to look that up. But yeah, I'll do some tutorials on that stuff, and um, I'll definitely be getting back into this game playing Pack 128. Because I've been in my other series, I played Pack 64, and I was kind of coming to the end of that, of really having fun with it and seeing what I could do. So, next up, I will be playing this pack. So, you know, let me know what you think of that. And I think that's it for this video. So, thank you all so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, or at least uh, it maybe it shed some light on how this has at least improved Simutrons a little bit. I've noticed a few hiccups here, but it's to be expected. It's not perfect. Uh, it's definitely better than it used to be as far as performance goes. So anyways, yeah, that's it. Um, leave a like if you liked, or um, dislike if you disliked, because, I mean, you know, there's a reason it's there. And until next time, I will see you all later. Bye-bye!